Here's Martin and he catches it. He goes up for the dunk. Finnish professional basketball player Lori Elias Markkanen got drafted by the Minnesota Timberwolves in the 2017 NBA Draft, and ever since, he's constantly been shocking the NBA and is no doubt breaking into an all-star. Without further ado, let's get into it. Markkanen made the heads of spectators and fans alike turn this year at the 2022 Eurobasket Tournament, where he took his country Finland to a surprising 7th place finish by averaging 27.9 points, 8.1 rebounds, and 2.4 assists while shooting 61.5% from the floor and 40.5% from three. Whether it was leftover confidence from that game or just straight up improvement, the Finnish player has undoubtedly proven this season his Eurobasket performance was not a one-hit wonder. Markkanen has played remarkably for Utah, so getting considered for an all-star over the next couple of months wouldn't come as a surprise. He's currently putting up 21.3 points, 8.4 rebounds, and 2.3 assists on 52.3, 34.7, and 82.8 shooting split, helping guide Utah to a 10-6 record so far in 22-23. Even though he's playing just a few minutes more than he did in his two former teams, his averages per game have shot up across the board. The evident hike in scoring, rebounding, and efficiency is the result of a much-needed role change. Although we started noticing the improved spontaneity of his offense when he was traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers. He has made amazing changes with the Jazz, in the sense that he's no longer limited to spot-up shooting duties. Rather, he now's been given opportunities to cook with the ball. This version of Markkanen in Utah is a three-level scorer, shooting about a third of his shots at the rim, third from mid-range, and the final third from beyond the arc hitting 51% of his attempts. It's the fifth highest percentage among tours this season. From the looks of it, the Jazz have given him the keys to take back his game, with more spacing and freedom as part of a five-out system. It's clear that the Jazz also thrive in transition, because according to Cleaning the Glass, they are ranked in the top points added. And on the offensive glass, they're ranked number four in the league. Clearly, focus on these areas allowed the Jazz to take advantage of the Finnish evident strengths. His ability to grab and go on rebounds, or outrun slower players down the court. Even though he was never considered a great offensive rebounder, he's now in a position to crash the glass more because of the Jazz's paired cutter system. Although his jack-of-all-trades gameplay didn't play out as expected in his previous teams, the five-out system allows him to exploit mismatches, the chances to make good cuts, and the skill to score from practically anywhere, which is a cheat code for success. There's no doubt that the Bulls would look back and be disappointed that they never got this version of Markkanen, because at least the Cavaliers got Donovan Mitchell, which is a good exchange, where the Bulls weren't so lucky in their exchange. But we know Markkanen wasn't ever going to get this kind of success while in Chicago. Players sometimes need new beginnings to regain their confidence, and most times they just need a team that better suits them. So even though the Jazz doesn't have any popular superstars on their roster, they've turned Markkanen into a star, and possibly an all-star. Although he could cool off down the road, there's an absolute certainty that Markkanen's campaign has taken off, looking like that missing piece Utah has been looking for with his floor-spacing, bucket-getting play out of the front court for the Jazz. 